Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another episode of Crow Archery Motorcycle Adventures. This is Crow, your host. And I want to start by saying thank you all for all the support. All of you, you guys are amazing. I love you all. You mean so much to me. And I could not be anywhere without any of you. Now, today's topic, we're going to be talking about standing on your own as far as your own resolve and believing in yourself and all of these things versus following trends, uh, following following popularity, uh, things like that and of that nature. Now, we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. So when it boils down to a lot of things, if you look at society and things in the world today, you will see all of these trends. And of course, they come and go. You know, some days something is cool, other days it's just a distant memory. Well, I want to talk about that for just a little bit, uh, especially when it comes to bad decisions, terrible choices, uh, encouraging bad behavior, and claiming it is good. Um, and especially something to do with the topic of quote unquote what you see a lot of on social media and that is the concept of empowering people. Now, first first things first, I do want to say I'm all for empowering people to be better, to do better, for not not only the world, but also for themselves. And when I say better, I mean making good choices, better choices, doing the right thing because it's the right thing, not because you expect a certain result or or have any inclination or feeling that, oh, if you do this, then this is going to happen. Okay, you need to throw that ideology out the window. So, on social media, you see a lot of people sharing things and talking about empowering each other. In fact, you can go to pretty much any comment section of an obvious attention-seeking person. And I will say, and I'm not trying to sound bad when I say this, but the majority of the time when you see you know, people commenting as far as being like, oh, yes, you're so beautiful, and blah, 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 blah. That is a big thing in the women section, Um, especially with girls that honestly just don't have any direction in life. Um, Their life is fulfilled, or their egos are fulfilled through baiting on social media, Um, you'll see a lot of girls post photos of themselves knowing what they are doing, seeking validation and attention. And, you know, they'll say, oh, I look ugly today, or, oh, I don't like this. And then you'll see a bunch of other girls get on there and be like, oh, no, you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're perfect, blah, blah, blah. Or you'll see a bunch of simp, thirsty guys getting on there and doing the same thing. Um, And then they call it, quote, unquote, empowering. And they'll say, oh, well, it's due to my mental illness. Um, Let's be honest, guys. Uh, When it comes to mental illness, that is a very serious thing. That is not something to be taken lightly. But it's also not something to claim when in all actuality you don't have any form of mental illness. That is extremely disrespectful. It is also extremely just low value. And uh, the reality of the situation is, is that mental illnesses are not as common as what is proclaimed to be on social media with a lot of people. Uh, A lot of that is just lack of confidence or fighting accountability for their own bad choices and decisions and wanting to play victim and blame everyone else. Um, and I, 
I mean no disrespect towards anyone that legitimately does have an actual mental illness. I will want that to be known, and I do want that to be known. But the reality of the situation is you'll notice a lot of these men and women, they will put themselves in these positions to where, of course, they're seeking validation. And the reality of the situation is you'll also notice that... um, There's a lot of men out there that will comment on, you know, a woman's status or something of the sort, and then she will completely ignore him. But she will acknowledge other people. And for what reasoning? To me, it's a a game. It's very childish. Um, Now, I also want to comment on that. There is a difference between getting on somebody's statuses or pictures or anything and saying, oh, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful, blah, 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 versus making a comment, trying to start a legitimate conversation or actually show true support. Um, But the thing is, you'll notice that even in those situations, a lot of people will ignore other people with those comments but they will love the other ones or like the other ones that are feeding into validation and I will admit that is one of those things that nice guys and nice girls like to use they'll be like oh well you know you just ignore me well here's the thing man when it comes to that um Those kind of people you just need to stay away from, honestly. Like, you do, if you're trying to transition from being a quote-unquote nice guy or quote-unquote nice girl into what I've referred to as a good man slash good woman, I've made a video on that. You can go check that out. Um, But the thing is, people like that, you need to ignore them. You need to forget they existed. You need to block, delete. Get rid of people like that out of your life because if they're going to be so petty to disrespect you in that regard, imagine what else they're going to be disrespectful with or disrespectful with you in. Basically, every regard. Okay? Because something like that is so petty and dumb that, you know, they will use an argument saying, oh, well, I can't believe you're getting mad about something so small and irrelevant or feeling disrespected based on something so small or irrelevant. It has nothing to do with it being a gigantic thing such as, like, cheating or lying in comparison to, oh, well, you're not getting a response on social media. It has nothing to do with that. That truly is a small, petty thing. But... What I'm trying to say is that small petty thing is a good indicator of someone else's character and what they are willing to do. If they are willing to do things like that, then no, kick them to the curb. A lot of those people will jump on bandwagons trying to be accepted by a society that honestly is going down the drain. Uh, Ignore that. Focus on yourself. Work on you. Be by yourself. Focus on your purpose. Um, and also side note on that, nobody is obligated to talk to you. You need to understand that. Um, so, but then again, that also has to do with like the whole nice girl, nice guy mentality, uh, where a lot of those people are stuck in that idea of someone's obligated to talk to them because they have acknowledged their existence. That's not true. Um, I'm basically just trying to give you the tools to see the future and the reality of the situation. Uh, Trust me when I say I have a lot of experience in this regard and in this field. Uh, And just, you know, try try to keep all of these things in mind. When it comes to trends, man, you don't need to worry about fitting in. You need to worry about standing out for yourself. Not for anybody else but for yourself, okay? You are the prize. Keep that in mind. You are the prize. 
Not anybody else, not random Joe Blow down the street. You. You are the prize. And you need to have a set of standards that you never shake from. Now, don't get into the mentality of, oh, well, I can do something for so long, and then when I get older, I'll change this aspect. That is toxic. That is extremely toxic. Okay? Either way, I love you guys. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you like the content. And I'll see you next time.